So disappointed I am right now. I My bike just fell in the back of the truck and I got a scratch on it. And I'm so anal about scratches on my stuff. Like, it's seriously irritating me right now. Ooh, uh, I'm trying to pedal this entire time. For some reason, my pedal assist is not kicking in. So let's find out what's wrong. Range, pedal assist mode. I got it on. Now it's working. Whoa. Hey. Infinite rider. All right, so I decided to go ahead and give y'all kind of a long-term review on my Super 73 ZX since I've had it for a little bit now. So we are on the Greenway. Miss Ride is back behind me on her Super 73 Z1. And we're on the Greenway here in kind of the Matthews area of North Carolina. Haven't been here in a little bit. I kind of wish I, I didn't come here right now because I scratched my damn bike. Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to throw a temper tantrum. I'm not going to do it. That don't go nowhere. Woo. <laughs> I've been skidding out today. So. Now that I've had this bike for a little while, I feel like I can give y'all a pretty solid impression on it. <sighs> kind of solid, kind of decent, you know? Overall, I mean, I've ridden this. I've ridden Serial Ones, which I consider a premium e-bike. It's a premium pedal assist e-bike because Serial Ones don't have a throttle, which is one factor I like about this bike a little bit over the Serial One. But as far as build quality and everything like that, I feel like the Super 73, it has a pretty solid build quality. Not as good as I would like it to be for how much it costs. So let's go over the pros first of all. I like to start off with the positives, you know what I'm saying? So some of the pros is the seating position is a lot more comfortable. And because I'm a bigger guy, it's a lot more comfortable to pedal. You can basically upgrade this bike with standard parts that would be on a bicycle. So I swapped out my grips um what else have i done swapped out my pedals i got odi grips on here and i got some crank brothers pedals which definitely made the bike a little bit more comfortable they got handlebar options all type of stuff like that the other thing is it definitely has some speed i've gotten this bike up to about 29 miles per hour when it's supposed to top out around 28 i have gotten it to 29 miles per hour with my weight which I'm 210 pounds and about six feet tall. No, I'm not even 210 no more. What am I? I'm 230. I'm on a diet right now. Yeah, 230. 230 pounds at six feet tall. I can still get this baby up to like 28, 29 miles per hour. And that's with pedal assist or with just the throttle. I've done it just on throttle alone. Um, the range on it, it lasts for quite some time. It lasts a lot longer if you're using pedal assist mode versus if you're full throttle in it you're going to reduce your, your your battery or the time frame on the battery um the seat has ample cushion it feels really good the seat is a lot more comfortable than some of the other super 73s i've sat on as far as the finish i know it's powder coated i just scratched it and i see metal under there so i don't know if that's going to rust i'm a little bit pissed about that <laughs> i'm gonna bring that up a couple times i don't think the finish is as good as it could have been but again I guess I was rough on it. It fell over in my truck. I mean, but it's a bicycle. It's supposed to be able to take a beating. I feel like they should have powder coated this baby with like gloss finish. Something that would have been a little bit more durable. Oh, or they should come out with a Super 73 ZX that has the, um, the, the like that rough, like bed liner type coat. Like, like my Harley is. Yeah, that'd be sexy. Oh, there we go. Let me know if y'all notice a difference um, in the quality of the footage. I'm actually filming with the Insta360 ONE X2 today. I just wanted to see 
and try it out because I can convert it to two different angles um, while I'm out riding. That way I could bust out some reels as well as make a YouTube video. I just wanted to try it. I'm usually using the GoPro, but we're gonna see how it come out. Now, overall, how does, what is that? It's a big ass bug trying to get me. So how does the bike handle? Overall, the fat tires absorb a lot of the bumps and imperfections in the road or the streets or the anything you're riding on. It definitely eats that up for you, which is a pro. I can handle flying through grass perfectly fine, flying on gravel perfectly fine. And these aren't even MX style tires, but they handle gravel, grass, road. They handle every type of condition pretty good, I would say. Now let's talk about some things that I expected from this bike that I didn't receive. Number one, was the aftermarket compute the aftermarket community through super 73 i got this bike because i saw the headlight and tail light that they offer over in the european markets and i like to look at this bike better than i did the um s1 s2 and the rx and all of those and i was like okay i'll just get this bike and i'll upgrade to the headlights when i'll get the headlight and tail lights when they come out in a couple months nope here we are long time later them, them parts still ain't out so i'm a little bit disappointed on Super 73 not delivering, but I see that they're coming out with more products, such as they're about to drop like a street legal motorcycle motorcycle type of bike too. But they ain't dropped the headlight in the US, but they got it over in, in Europe. Like, I don't understand that. Like, it ain't no guidelines against having a headlight over here in the States, Super 73. Like, what y'all doing? Like, give us our headlight and tail light, you know? <laughs> and I know it's supposed to have like some power converter to be able to make it work, but they they not releasing it for some weird ass reason i don't understand what else is a con another con is if this thing loses power then it sucks to pedal because of the weight of the bike it's fairly heavy so if you have to pedal this back because you lost power you're gonna pass the hell out unless you like arnold schwarzenegger or something because i know me i would pass out if i had to pedal back and i lost power same with the Z1, it's like brutal to pedal. And it could be because of the way they got the gearing set up. So the rear sprocket is itty bitty, itty bitty bitty, little sprocket. And the front sprocket is big, 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 big sprocket. Look, I did it with no hands this time. Last time I tried to do it with no hands, this con, oh. <laughs> oh, it don't balance. Shit was going all over the place. Because of that factor, it makes it extremely hard to pedal. So I feel like they should have put a bigger sprocket on the rear so that that way it makes it a lot easier to pedal. What else can I say about the bike besides the finish, which it's a nice finish, but I scratched it so I'm pissed. Um, <laughs> the fact of the lack of aftermarket accessories directly through Super 73 and the fact that this thing is ridiculous to pedal. Oh, oh, my screen display right here. This has gone out on me on multiple occasions where it'll just be blank and I can't do anything. It'll still power up with throttle, but I can't just adjust my pedal assist modes and things like that. And I feel like when you're paying two grand for an e-bike, that, that shit should be solid. I think I'm gonna reach out to Super 73 about that. So that, that way, maybe they'll replace my screen. Maybe they'll ghost me. Who knows what they'll do? We'll see. Another thing, the brakes on these things suck let's see if you can hear it you hear that they pulsate and they screech and they sound like they're grinding and that's with the stock brakes that's on here so the braking system is trash and when you're paying two grand for e-bike give me some good brakes give me some good brakes super 73 these brakes is shit like the rear brake I, this is a little bit better but they suck overall the brake the brake system on this thing is trash so yeah there's that, but would I end up purchasing another one of these if I did it again? Probably so. <laughs> I like the style of it. I enjoy riding it. It's fun to ride and get out, go places I typically wouldn't be able to go. I feel like the price is a lot lower than the cost of the Serial One. Hello there, puppy. Then the Serial One e-bike which I love that bike as well, but again, it's only pedal assist mode, which typically I'm riding in pedal assist anyway, so that wouldn't bother me at all. But this one is a little bit more comfortable as far as the seat and everything like that, because the Serial One kind of feels more like a true bicycle. Like if I was a cyclist, the Serial One would be where it's at. But because I ain't got a cyclist ass, 
it, it don't work for me. Like my butt hurts. I don't got a cycle booty. I wish I had a cycle booty because cycle booties are firm. They all nice and stuff. And like my ass ain't like that at all. No, none whatsoever. You using all throttle. I don't see you pedaling. Huh? No, I ain't, I ain't touching it. I'm pedaling. Now, if anyone knows of any type of bike mounts that you can mount to the back of an SUV or the back of a car so I can transport these things without throwing them in the bed of my truck, please let me know. I'm looking for one of those so we can start taking it out of town. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Comment down below if y'all have any questions about this Super 73, something I ain't answer about it, any things you'd like to see me do on it that won't tear up my damn bike. Oh, look, it's a stream of sewage. I ain't no damn drinking water. Where the hell does this go? You wanna go up? Ain't no telling where this lead to either. Yeah, we don't know where we at right now. We never turned this way. We just venturing off the beaten path. Is that what they be saying? What if some crazy looking huge animal just ran out right now? You know this is going down, so we gonna have to come back up to get out. Hello. Where does this go? See, times like this, I wish the bike had a headlight so that I could be lit up. And my pedal assist just kicked out on me. Maybe it'll come back. There it is. Came back. That's what I was talking about. Like, sometimes my pedal assist go in and out. That's, that's a no bueno scenario right there. We're going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this ride. Make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, like, and commenty below. And I shall, will, and am going to check y'all out in the next one if I ever make it out of these woods. Deuces. Love y'all. Oh, one wheel. Awesome.